All right, uh, Shalom. Alam, before I start, we give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakhak Kodash, the Wanderers, the Elders, and Apostles, Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk, walk, and learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. This is going to be another uh, video through the Spirit. I'm going to let this clip play. All right, I'm going to turn down the volume so I don't catch a uh, copyright. It doesn't really need the sound. All right, I'm going to just let it go. So just real quick from looking at it, you can tell it's somewhere in Africa, all right, and hey, this is dealing with Jake, you know, they they love to tell us, you know, you know, we're from Africa, you know, uh, we, <laughs> we're Hamites, but being in this truth now, uh, we know better, all right, hey, and so what you're seeing, you know, you had a young, I'll just say a young Jake, you know, him and his homies, they riding on the back, looking like they ain't up to no good, basically, all right. And uh, he fell off the bike, so now he's stuck out there in the desert. So just real quick, you know, uh, uh, the young dude, he encountered a, a what looked like a, a tribesman, all right, and he <laughs> jacked him for his stuff, you know, not realizing that he had a line on his ass, and now he's trying to, uh, you know, I'm going to get the scriptures in a second, I'm just letting this clip play, you know, because I, I was looking at it from a spiritual point. Now he's shooting at the line, so we're going to see how this goes. All right, and so that's basically it for the clip. Now, let me get some scriptures. Now, basically, in the way that I was taking it, hey, the ways of, you know, starting out, the young dude, you know, he's on the bike, him and his homies, he has AK-47, you know, he's inexperienced, not no, hey, he just, him and his, they're just out there being a uh, wild beast, and then you had that tribesman looking dude, you know, he knew the land, he knew the layout, he knew the way of the ancient. All right, and the way of the ancient is more upright 
and it's more, uh, I'll say, hardcore than what we're dealing with now. All right, let me get a, uh, let me get this out of Joe to sum up. Let me see. Come right here, Job chapter eight, verse eight. It says, "For I, for inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers." All right, Con eight, and the, the way I was gonna title it, the ways of old, or the ways of gold. All right, because the way that our people are now, you saw it. You know that the, the young dude, he had a, uh, it looked like a, a, a AK seven four U, you know. 30 round clip, he is supposed to tear that line to pieces, but he missed every single bullet. Why? Because he's young, untrained, wild, and uh, rebellious. But you had the older, uh, I'll say the more experienced man who was living in the ways of the past. All right, he was out there with his uh, spear. You know, he had a little loincloth on. We, you know, us, the, we, we weren't like that, you know, back in the land of Israel. But, you know, he was of the way of the old. He was one with the land he knew how to exist and he knew how to survive out there and what that young dude couldn't do with 30 bullets he was able to do with a single toss of the spear all right which a hey, spiritually hey that's why we're supposed to be looking back to how we used to be all right this 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 layout of society that esau has set up for us is nothing good for us this this is not let me get this let me get this real quick on right here. This is Second Samuel. I'm going to start at... Perfect. Okay, I was spelling it wrong. Now, hey, that... Because America, it nourishes this, this new young dude. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. Don't listen to nobody. Be your own boss type spirit. And that's not the spirit that us, the Israelites, are supposed to be in. All right? We always look to our elders and our leaders uh, as... as as our leaders, all right, we have a, a hierarchy in Israel. This is not a, a every man do himself. The Israelites are supposed to be a monolith, meaning one group under under uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, we're all supposed to have the same beliefs. We're all supposed to move the same way and step the same way. All right, I'm being uh, parabolic. All right, we're not literally going to all be wearing the same clothes and whatnot, this and that. But America nourishes this rebellious. Uh, individualism selfish spirit and that's why that young dude was about to get overcome by that lion all right second samuel 17 and 7 just to get a, a real life example out of the scriptures it says and hushai said unto absalom the counsel that ahithophel hath given is not good at this time now this is dealing with absalom when he was coming up against his father david all right one of his wicked counselors being uh, ahithophel which counseled him in a shit ton of wickedness all right hey he uh was Telling Absalom to go up and fight against David and his mighty men. And this is what Hushai, because it, hey, Hushai was sent as a spy from King David to see what was going on with his son. And Hushai, this is what Hushai said to Absalom. For said Hushai, thou knowest that thy father and his men, they be mighty men, and they be chaffed in their minds, as a bear robbed of her whelps in the field, and thy father is a man of war and will not lodge with the people. So Hushai is saying, look, you know how your father gets down. You know how his men get down. It said they are chaffed in their minds. Let's get that word chaff real quick. Second Samuel 17 and 8. He's telling them, you know how the men get down. He's, told, he's telling them they are no joke. They are cutthroat and no joke. All right, chaffed. Bitter. <laughs> Marah, wow, okay. Bitter, bitterness. Uh, end of wickedness. Uh, of pain, bitterly. All right, it says them is... Let's see, chaffed, discontented, great, heavy. He said, "Them's is great, heavy men." All right, bitter, meaning that they don't—they're not about the BS. All right, they will hack you. Joab was not a man to be played with. If you sneeze the wrong way around Joab, he was gonna kill you. All right, for brothers that then read through First uh, and Second Samuel, hey, if you, if 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 the water was, if the wind was blowing the wrong way, Joab was gonna kill you. All right. And that's what Hushai was explaining to them. And that's the spirit that uh, we used to have upon us in the ancient, which is why we're supposed to, uh, there's one scripture, what is it? Uh, oh, shoot, I always forget where it's at, but the, uh, let me get it real quick. Con 2 uh, Timothy 3 and 15. Hey, this is why, you know, here at Great Millstone, hey, the apostles here are worthy of double honor. 
because not only have they been laboring, but they've been laboring correctly, and they've been showing us things, bringing us back to the remembrance of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, Second Timothy three and fifteen, and that from a and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which Yahweh. Uh, which is in Yahweh Shai, or which is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So, what does it say? Uh, hey, these scriptures, this is what has built us up, you know, making us uh, wise. All right, why? Because it was taught to us the correct way through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by our elders and by our apostles. All right, so that, hey, the, the men of, uh, uh, Hey, let me just keep reading. There's there's a whole chapter in Sirach. It tells you, you know, when you see wise men, get thee to them betimes. All right, a hey, hey, uh, be in the uh, uh, around their discourse. All right, of the elders. All right, Second Samuel seventeen and nine. It says, Behold, he is hid now in some pit or in some other place, and it will come to pass when some of them be overthrown at the first, that whatsoever, that whosoever heareth it will say. There is a slaughter among the people that follow Absalom, and he also that is valiant, whose heart is as the heart of a lion, shall utterly melt. For all Israel knoweth that thy father is a mighty man, and they which be with him are valiant men. So Hushai was telling him, look, you know just like everyone else in Israel knows that King David, all right, the mighty men, a Joab, uh, Abishai, uh, uh, the last chapter, let me see, the last chapter of 2 Samuel, goes down the list. All right. Let me see. Oh no, uh is it chapter 23? Yeah. Ch all of chapter 23 goes down the list right here of David's mighty men and who shot was telling Absalom, "Look, they will they will tear you up and you will lose the war because all your men would now become scared of King David." All right, so now let me get a, uh, another one real quick. Come right here now. This is uh, First Kings twelve and six. It says, "And King Rehoboam, all right, this is the the king that reigned after uh, Solomon, all right, his son uh, over the southern kingdom." It says, "And King Rehoboam consulted with the old men that stood before Solomon his father, while he yet lived, and said, How do ye advise that I may answer this people?'" So you know, this was around the time of the split. Hey. Rehoboam was going to the, the elders, the wise men of Israel, for their advice on what to do because you had tumult amongst the, uh, the Israelites. This is when we were starting to, to break away from each other. All right, so he took counsel from the elders, all right, verse 7, and they spake unto him, saying, If thou wilt be a servant unto this people this day, and wilt, ser and wilt serve them and answer them and speak good words to them, then they will be thy servants forever. All right, and that was good counsel. He said, look, if, you, if they, they said... To him, if you be a good king, if you serve them, meaning you do us do us right by them, all right? Hey, be like uh, Solomon, be like uh, David. Go out to war for the people. Make sure everything is straight. They will be your people forever. They will be reconciled, all right? But what happened? Verse 8, but he forsook the counsel of the old men, which they had given him, and consulted with the young men that were grown up with him, and which stood before him. Uh, and he said unto them, What counsel give ye that we may answer this people who have spoken to me, saying, Make the yoke which thy father uh, did put upon us lighter? All right, hey, and you know how the rest of the story goes. He basically said, I'm making the, they told, they said, Look, make the yoke heavier, which led ultimately to the split of Israel. But he neglected the counsel of the elders for the counsel of that young, new, dumb nigga spirit. All right, and you're seeing a lot of that right now. Especially in Israel, all right, as the apostles call them, startup dudes, all right, dudes that ain't even, you know, hey, you, I haven't even been in this, uh, you know, not even, uh, you know, to be getting close to maybe five years. Hey, I'm st I'm, I'm staying under the uh, elders and apostles' armpits, all right, until, we, <laughs> until we get up out of here to the kingdom, all right. But these dudes, they wanted to do their own thing. They wanted to be young hotheads, and it literally led, uh to the split and downfall of the nation of Israel, all right, which was all prophecy, it was all biblical, but just to show you that, that young nigga spirit, you know, I'm gonna do me, you know, get out of my face, you don't know what you're talking about, hey, that spirit is done, all right, hey, I'm gonna uh, end it here soon, but just look at this picture, you had the dude, 
you know, a 30 round clip, didn't hit, land a single blow, you know, untrained, unwise, didn't know nothing. Then you had the man on the left. He wasn't even, he wasn't even scared of the line. He was, uh, were, he was more scared for this young dude's life because he knew that he was about to get a, a hole torn out of him about, about, by the line. All right. And he still decided to show him mercy, even though dude took his spear and put the line down. All right, so, hey, you know, that's the whole point of this video. Hey, the way, I saw Matata, the ways of old or the ways of gold, all right, which is why, hey, these scriptures benefit us because it reminds us of how we used to be and how we're supposed to be, all right? Not how America wants you to be in 2020, but how Yahweh, how Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai wanted us to be since the beginning of time, all right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, the waters to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk with them and teaching truth and sincerity. That I'm saying, Shalom.